Austin Heads. Spring Thunder is brought to you by Realtree, Woodhaven Custom Calls, Huntera, Federal Premium Ammunition, Bog Pod, the National Wild Turkey Federation, and Cabela's. That's that one. But he's still on private, right? He's on private, pretty good way. Yeah. It's uh second morning of our public land hunting here in Missouri. We didn't get anything roosted last night. So we're cruising the roads this morning trying to get to high spots and listen and pinpoint some birds. We've heard several, but none on public yet, so. Yeah, he's right there. I mean, he's not very far. He could easily end up on public, but we're gonna keep on going, see if we can uh, find a few more quick. Hiked all the way back in here after turkey, about a mile from the car. Finally got up here to where he was gobbling at. Hit the call and another hunter answered me about 100 yards away. He's in there bubble gumming on a box call or something. So we're gonna get out of here. Dang it. Lots of raptors out there. <laughs> no long beard yet. Just four super jakes. That other bird was gobbling down in here this morning, though. I'm assuming those turkeys were roosted down in the creek and they're working their way up. I bet that long beard ain't far. We're getting ready to call it a day here on the uh, the second day of the Missouri public land hunt um, didn't have much luck today at all we got our butts whipped and that's kind of what I'm used to down here in Missouri we uh, we had some luck yesterday but that was definitely an anomaly out here on this public land there's lots and lots of hunters out here and uh, there's definitely no shortage of them this year Zach and I heard one turkey gobbling on public earlier it was about a mile in we walked all the way back there and got to where I wanted bef before uh, we called and I called and immediately a hunter started up with a box call. So we turned around and got out and uh, just did some prospecting pretty much throughout the entire morning and didn't really get into much else. We found uh, a group of jakes and a hen up in a field that uh, we called up right along the edge there, got some video of them. But this may be our last good weather day for a while. It's supposed to rain, have bad storms tomorrow and uh, I think Thursday it may cool off and the morning may be clear, but we'll be back out this evening trying to roost some birds out here. We didn't hear anything last night, but I got some ideas of some different spots to go check. So that's probably what our plan is from this point forward. Just didn't hear much goblin midday today. Um, and like I said, I don't think we were really in the turkeys. We weren't really in the game much all day at all, but these are the types of days, these are the growing pains that you have to go through on these public pieces. Um, you just learn new areas, you rule spots out. I mean, that's why we ended up killing that turkey yesterday is because Zach Kurzieski and I did a lot of this last year. A lot of prospecting, checking spots, um, monitoring hunting pressure and that sort of thing. So it's a, it's a process 
and at times it's a long one but we'll get there again here soon so next time we'll be out we'll try to roost one and we may or may not be out tomorrow depending upon the rain